So guys, let's look at some of the health benefits of consuming avocado. This is from Healthline. So this is a website and this article was written by a dietitian. Um, Gillian Bukala, and that was in 2022. Um, so let's go through it. I believe we all know what an avocado looks like. So that's an avocado. Uh, an avocado is a fruit. Um, some people classify it as a vegetable. It's highly nutritious and very tasty. I know some people might disagree with the taste, uh, but I find it really pleasant on the taste buds, uh, very palatable. So this avocado has a lot of excellent, um, you know, health benefits while when consumed. And one is that, um, as you can see from this article, it has uh, it's an excellent source of nutrients. You can see calories, fats, carbohydrates. Of particular importance is the fact that it has some significant amount of fiber. Um, if I zoom in, I think that should be better. And then we can also see that it contains uh, antioxidants, so vitamins, vitamin C is an antioxidant, vitamin E is an antioxidant, uh, vitamin K here is important for blood clots. Uh, it has vitamin, you know, the B complex, so it has the B2, B2. Uh, B3, B5, B6. B6 is very important for nerve, um, you know, nerve conduction, and nerve health. It has folic acid, magnesium, potassium, copper, manganese. So it's, um, it has a myriad of minerals and vitamins that are important um, for our normal body functions. If we go down, we can see that the next benefit here is that it's beneficial for our gut health. And that's majorly because avocado has a significant, you know, a reasonable amount of fiber in it. And what fiber does is that it helps increase the volume of stool. So it increases, it retains water in our bowels, uh, makes our stool not to be very hard, and then prevents us from becoming constipated. Um, another health benefit of avocado is that it helps to reduce your chance or you know a person's risk of developing cardiovascular problems uh, heart attack stroke um you know atherosclerosis and that's majorly because of its antioxidant effects so by antioxidation what it, or by having antioxidant effect means that it actually prevents uh you know oxidative stress and damage which is you know, damage from stress related chemicals in the body um, so that overall reduces the risk of developing cardiovascular problems and as well as reducing the risk of developing cancer so it's actually a very good thing to actually consume avocado so this is a repetition you know it's a rich source of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds which has been highlighted as vitamin c vitamin e uh, we have carotenoids so carotenoids are also you know um, found in carrots. Phenolic compounds, so antioxidants that help to reduce oxidation. So it's good you understand oxidation as stress. Okay, when you have stress, uh, physical stress, mental stress, emotional stress, um, you know, there's increased uh, production of free oxygen radicals that can cause damage to our tissues, our cells and tissues. Now, avocado may help promote a healthy body weight. Okay. And that is related to its high fiber content. Um, and it also, it also helps to regulate the hunger hormone and the satiety hormones. So, um, which helps us to feel full quite early. Um, so it can, it can help you know, prevent us from gaining too much weight. And here, um, the author has written that avocado is a smart choice during pregnancy uh, because obviously it also contains folic acid. And in pregnancy, especially in the first part of the pregnancy, uh, the first few weeks of pregnancy, folic acid is very important um, for the development of the, of the brain and spinal cord and you know, the surroundings, the tissues that surround the brain or cover the brain and, and spinal cord. And 
The last thing that the author has written is that avocado is versatile. It's a versatile and delicious ingredient. You know, it's as I said initially, you know, it's quite pleasant. It's soft and it just um, has a very nice feel, you know, to the taste board. So it's very uh, so thin and you can actually use your avocado to eat several things. Personally, I use it to eat things like rice and most of that I just eat avocado um, plainly. And something that is of utmost importance to note is that it's not just the fleshy part of the avocado that is highly nutritious. The avocado seed, it's actually the avocado seed that was emphasized in this article. You know, so it's actually very helpful. A lot of fruits actually that have seeds. Um, a lot of the time we, we spit out, you know, we discard the seeds, but a lot of the time it's actually the seeds that are more nutritional. Uh, compared to the fleshy parts, you know, the seed is usually the part that has a lot of the nutrient, like apples, you know, the apple, the core of an apple, I usually chew, you know, I consume both the fleshy part of the apple and the, the central core of the apple, because I believe the central core of the apple is also highly nutritious. It has small seeds in it. So I usually chew on that and I swallow that. Um, so these are just a few things about avocado, uh, these little fruits. Um, you know, it's a pear, it's pear shaped, um, which is actually a miraculous fruit in terms of its nutritional values. So I just felt I should share this with you guys uh, because obviously I want to stay healthy and I want you, my followers and subscribers, you know, uh, to be healthy as well. So thanks for listening to this point. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Cheers, guys.